a 10 hour overnight train ride and we are in Hua Hin today, a beachside small relaxed city in the southern part of Thailand. But this city isn't just great for its beachside presence and its relaxed vibes, but it's perfect to come and sample all the flavors that Thailand has to offer. I'm gonna start off with the way I love to do it. We're gonna hit a local morning market, then we're gonna dive deep, not into the waters, but into the local food scene and eat a lot of fresh seafood. My name is Max and my kind of beats. You're coming along with me today here in Hua Hin. Let's get it started. Start this morning off with some fried goodies. We're gonna start off with a fried little dough stick, an uncle here that's been doing it for a lot of years. And then right across the street, we've actually got a coffee shop that's been open for more than six decades. Let's go ahead and kind of grab everything and sit down. What's unique about this uncle is you'll see most of them will press two little pieces together, but he keeps his single stranded. Got my dough fritters, now we just got cross and get some coffee. Now there's a ton of stuff you can eat here, chicken, rice, porridge, you see people enjoying all kinds of, you know, typical breakfast items, but I'm just gonna have my little fried dough sticks here and some coffee, because we're heading to the market after this, and there's gonna be a lot to eat there. And as you expect from a location that's been here so long, they're doing it the traditional Thai way, which is straining their coffee through a tea bag. All right, we moved locations. Auntie needed me to move, so we gotta listen to Auntie. And check it out, got all the fried little dough fritters here. Just for 10 baht, you can get a good little snack for in the morning. And I got my coffee with the milk, and then it looks like you get a little thing of tea as well. Uncle's fried dough fritters got a little chew to them. That surprised me. I'm so used to them being crunchy and airy, but this is nice, light, shallow fry on it. But it's got a little bit of chewiness in it, like it's a rice flour or tapioca or something in there to give it that chew. It's more than just coffee and milk in here. There's some type of spices, almost get like a chai tea taste, but with coffee instead. There's something in there. Can't put my finger on it. Or I should say my tongue, but there's some type of spice in there. This place is filling up quick. It's popular with locals and tours. So I'm gonna put this coffee down. We'll head to the market. All right, sit that way. So we're in the market. Looks like we're where all the dried seafood products are. Oh my gosh, there's so many types of just shrimps and dried fish and paste. I got a place I've walked by like three or four times and it's been full of people every time. It's finally got a seat open. I'm gonna get in here while I can. What I got here is like chicken and a little coconut, a little broth, and then I got a curry paste, long bean, and mussel dish. Huh? Mm, that will wake up your taste buds in the morning. That is super nice, nice and earthy from the mushrooms. The coconut, it's not too overbearing, but more of just another flavor component. It is a little bit more watered down, and then you get a ton of cilantro, a ton of lemongrass. That is really nice. You got just a hint of sour at the end. The fish sauce and chilies really round that out for me, bringing saltiness, a big kick of heat. Like I said, just loving those mushrooms with earthiness. You get the tomato, gives it like this tangy sweetness. Mm. 
This rice just soaks in all of that soup broth so you don't leave any flavor behind. Sour enough to keep you interested, but not so sour it blows you away. They are just balancing all the flavors in this dish beautifully. One of my favorite textures in the world is just a ground up curry paste, and this is looking thick and flavorful. Got some long beans, some peppers, and mussels. Go for a little bit of everything here. The curry paste is practically creamy. It just almost kind of dissolves in your mouth. And then you get the long beans for the snap. You get a big burst of brininess from the mussel and the peppers and the curry paste. Starting to bring that heat. Feel like my lips are turning red. But I want a little more heat. I'm afraid to do the fish sauce chili because I may get too salty. So always come prepared. That's why I love markets. It's so easy to find everything you need. Get a bag of chilies, 10 baht. When in Thailand, we eat chilies, double chili roll. I just love the flavor of these little bird's eye chilies. Mm. Now it's perfect, just gonna mix in, enjoy this breakfast with a few extra chilies. The reason you should take risk too is because I got all that for 50 baht. What is that, $2.50? It's worth just experimenting, trying, getting out there. You never know. That one's really good. So I'm being a little bit stubborn this morning. I'm actually looking for an uncle that's been grilling horse skewers for over 30 years. But if I came here and it wasn't like a film day, what I would do is I'd just play the point and eat game. You point, you eat it. You kind of figure out what you're eating later. You can tell the blue shell crab is a specialty here. I mean, every fish vendor is selling it. This is where it kills me not knowing the local language. Look at all these gorgeous curry paste. I just want to know everything about each one, but instead I'm just gonna have to admire them for their beauty. I'm not gonna get to taste them or understand what's going on. Getting lucky now, found cow lamb, which is the sticky rice cooked in the bamboo of coconut milk. Maybe a little bit of sugar and salt. They're my absolute favorite. This one's massive. Wow, and I hope so, it's pretty expensive. All right, just gonna chill in this area right here. It lights up at night, gets really busy through here, but right now, nobody's here, so we can chill here. Need the cow lamb. So, like I said, this one is massive. Look at this, this is huge. And inside, you got the goodies. You have the Arthron beans in there. You can see just that sugar that's cooked down on the inside. And they throw this over high open flame. You can see the char marks here. So the top usually gets really cooked through, really mushy. It's where they put the coconut cream. So it gets really sweet, coconutty, and soft. The bottom's usually a little bit harder and a little bit more granular. So I like to take a little bit from the bottom and top and eat it together to get all the texture and all the flavor. Mm. If you are a sticky rice fanatic like myself, this is a cannot miss snack. Open flame heat in the bamboo just gives it this aromatic flavor that I love. And then you get the sticky rice, it's ooey, chewy, gooey, with the coconut cream, intense flavor, and then also has a little salty, sweet balance that makes it oh so addicting. No sticky rice left behind. A little further outside the city now, going to a noodle joint. I do believe it's pronounced Nai Hoi. I could be completely wrong, could be Americanizing it really bad. No matter what, they're supposed to be serving up some delicious noodles. Let's walk in right now. They have a ton of add-ins in here. I see like fish cakes, I see liver, I see pork that's been marinated, I see fish balls. And then back here, they're frying up even more goodies, which I think we can get for our noodles. Yeah, we're gonna have to go with my default setting and just get one of everything. It's the only way I know to order here. Hey, that's so maybe that. Yeah. 
You got three ladies working it like their bosses here. You got one lady doing the toppies, you got the sauce lady, and you got the lady handling the noodles. So my favorite way to pick add-ons, they've already got them fried up. You go through, pick them again, and they'll cut them up, get a bigger surface area so you get more crunch when they refry them up. Pick it up twice, fry. Ooh, so we have a ton of additions in this soup noodle, and then I got a plethora of fried goodies to go with it. Like I said, I went out, just get one of everything, but it's time to do some investigative work. So it looks like you get a little sweet chili dipping sauce to go with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and start out with some of these fried goodies since we got a ton of them here. This one, I'm pretty sure it just fried up fish skin. Gotta get a little dunk on that action. Oh, wow, look at the sugar content in this. Wow, that is viscous as can be. Gonna be loaded with sugar. A little bit of chili flake in there for the heat. That is just a honey thick, sweet sauce, but then that heat starts to come. And because that sauce is so viscous and got so much sugar in it, that heat's not leaving your tongue or your mouth. So I hope you can handle it. Mm. Whoa, did you hear that crunchiness? I was barely holding it and it's just crunching off. Try that again, round two. And look at this one, look at all the extra crisp on this one. All this is extra crispiness. I like to call that a down home bite because those are just some cooked down, they're super sweet, grow in your garden, veggies. Let's get in here and get after the nudes. Now you can really make these noodles how you want them. I'm talking you get to pick what noodle, what type of broth, what type of add-ins. What I did is I went with the yellow noodle, all add-ins and spicy. Mm. Love me some yellow noodles the way they're so doughy and chewy. There's a nice light broth, a little bit of fishy flavor coming from it. Lots of red chili flake, lots of fried up garlic. Ooh. A little bit on the sweeter side though, so I think we need to kick it up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that chili coat in those noodles. Oh, I'm getting excited now, y'all. This is what I love to see. Everybody in here is freaking out. They think I'm about to die. Get us a little fish cake this time. Mm. Chase that little broth. Oh yeah, now it's better. Got that heat predominantly now, not too sweet. Good subtle base, just need some fish sauce, some chili. I end up adding a little bit of vinegar too. Something to get a little sour, spicy going, but the actual broth, a good starting point. Mm. Always gotta slurp up those broths. That's where that chili and fried garlic falls. Those last couple slurps are always the best. That's a good lunch bowl of noodles, nice and light, not too heavy. Now, I think I loved every fried thing besides the fish paste one, but they're super friendly and I think they're all pretty happy I didn't die when I added all that chili. I think they thought they were gonna rush me to the hospital or something. All right, we're at a super cheap local seafood restaurant, Nong Mai. All that fried food plus is walking this heat has made me thirsty. I may have to change this water to cowboy cola later though. All right, y'all, didn't take long. Cowboy cola is here. <sighs> Hits the spot. First dish is here and we got the stir fried scallops. They put it with a ton of fried garlic and check this out. They got the shallot skins on here as well. I love that. That's just gonna be extra crunch and flavor, not wasting anything here. And then we got the star of the show right here, the Gong Chao Wang, which is gonna be the huge prawns here, chili paste. And what I was reading is actually steamed milk. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try this and figure it out, do a little more investigative work. Cool. 
is sweet and creamy. I can see where that steamed milk, it's got a very milky, creamy texture. And then that chili oil, boom, it will come at you. Oh my. Get a few scallops here. Oh wow, I'm telling you, the fried garlic is just so aromatic. It's the only thing you can really smell here. The scallop is just soft, tender, naturally sweet. The sauce is like this salty soy sauce or add a little bit of sugar to it as well. And you get all the fried garlic, all the fried shallots. And I mean, it's just a wonderful bite. The only thing I regret is adding the sweet chili sauce because you really, you just do not need it. Maybe some fresh chilies, but you don't need that sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna tell y'all, it's a super simple dish. Fresh scallops, stir fried with a ton of fried garlic and some shallots. Sometimes simple is what it takes. Letting those scallops shine. Those scallops give you the life lesson, big things and small packages. I don't think that's how it goes, but anyways, they may not be that big, but they are flavor packed. But we're about to get so dang down and dirty with this dish, it's not even funny. Look at this. flavor and the innards from the head that just sucked out with that steamed milk chili paste sauce. Y'all, there may only be one king of Thailand, but eating this dish will make you feel like you're royalty. I can't even tell y'all how excited I am for this right now. Look at this sauce coating every piece of rice. Oh, this looks so decadent. Overly sweet, overly creamy, overly decadent. You don't get this every day. This is a special occasion type of dish. There's a prawn in here somewhere. The milk they add to this is almost giving it like a yogurt feel to it. The way it's creamy, it coats your mouth. Super sweet, but there's no sourness to it all. It's just super clean. I just had a fabulous idea, y'all. My extra sauce for my gung chow wong, I'm gonna throw my garlic stir fried scallops in it. This is going into my kind of eats, sauce hall of fame. I think you could put this on cardboard and it'd be absolutely delicious. Well, I'm full. I got a little bit of room left for something sweet. I don't know quite what I want yet, so we'll see what happens. So I got a special spot for y'all. This looks like a souvenir shop on the outside, but only the people in the know know the lady right here is selling up some sweet treats. Now she stops when she sells out, but she's been extremely friendly and she's given me some of her tomorrow stash to try now, since I guess I got here a little too late today. Yeah, I'm I can't even call that pudding the way it just melts in your mouth. I'm telling you, it has no slickness to it all. It's just purely creamy, intense sugar, coconut flavor, a slight little just aromaticness, a little kiss of it. Oh, that is lovely. I'm not missing around at all. I'm getting back for another one of those. Oh my gosh, they're laughing at me because they know how good it is. Extremely sweet, barely solidified coconut cream on top with a nice pandan jelly at the bottom. The contrast in textures, you can just taste the love, you can taste the handmade hard work they're putting into these sweets. 
Wow, I did not realize I loved those as much until I had hers. Just so creamy, so sweet, so coconut, and then just a perfect amount of pandan jelly to break it up. But y'all, that's gonna do it for the first day here in Hujin. Oh, it was a fabulous day, and we have so much more to come. Tomorrow, we are going deep into a seafood market. So I'll catch you bright and early to Maximize Kind of Beats. I'll see you there.